And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's going to be a good one. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. In a few months' time, snow will blanket the Great Peaks just to our west, but for now, summer still in full swing at Empower Field at Mile High. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. And off we go from Denver. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So now here are the Broncos to take over on offense, led out by their rookie quarterback, drafted 12th overall, Bo Nix out of Oregon. And he really established himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the country a season ago. 45 touchdown passes and only three interceptions. A dynamic athlete, processes a lot of information in a short amount of time, and puts his team in a great position to win on each and every down. You don't break the NCAA record for highest completion percentage without having all those attributes, and I think that he'll translate very well in Denver. They'll go play action with Knicks. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The rookie from Oregon on target with that one. It leads to a first down. Sutton gets past the sticks, and that play reminds us of the potential that he has and the production that he's given in the past, something he's certainly hoping to get back to this season. That is incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Second and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion since. Here's Knicks once more. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Greg George, deep for Arizona. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there aren't many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A short one here caught by McBride. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the 31, here's a second and nine. Now Murray. His throw incomplete. 
I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing now is Murray. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. And Marvin Mims deep for Denver. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. A first carry now. This is Williams. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. From the 43, here's second and nine. Throwing Knicks. Finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Here's Nix. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Now second and five. To throw his Knicks. Same connection, Dulcich once again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Knicks to the air. Short throw caught by Dulcich. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Now they'll work from the 29 on second and six. 
to throw. Here's Nix. He'll get this one to Patrick. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. This now a third and four. Now it's Nix. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Broncos first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Next to throw again. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten. Off the play fake, Nix. Touchdown, Broncos! Corwin Sutton from 21 yards away. And the Broncos are on the board first here this afternoon. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream, one you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Will Lutz on for the point after. And he's got it. 7 nothing Broncos. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's Murray. Able to get this one to McBride. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Here's Murray. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well.
got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 34. First carry for James Conner. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. From the 24 now, here's second down and one. That pass completed to Dorch. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. To throw, it's Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yes. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards there on the play as that'll lead to a second and goal. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss, not a big one. But any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Murray now to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. DJ Jones in there to drop him in sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. So once again, they dial up the pressure and get home and get a sack. It brings up a third and long, but it's really not an unmakeable one, especially considering they just gave up back-to-back -back sacks. Two straight sacks have them backed up now for a third and goal. Murray now. Screen pass to Connor. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. I know we saw the pass and the completion and obviously the resulting loss of yardage. To me, that play broke down with the blocking on it. Because if you're going to try and swing it that far outside, that blocking's got to hold up to give your guy a chance. And the defense, they weren't fooled at all. No, not at all. Boy, were they aggressive on that one. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game.
Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now Cortland Sutton and the rest of the offense getting ready for their next drive. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now we give up the middle to Williams. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Second and four. And he's got his man on the out route. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Williams. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Again, it's Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 23, here's second down and seven. Back to throw. Knicks. Oh, the ball comes out the hit but they'll say it's incomplete I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to he was right up in his grill I think he was a dentist there without a license don't you <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop just lucky it wasn't a fumble really this will be the eighth play of the drive it's third and seven looking to throw Knicks screenplay set up for Williams and he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play call sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Back to throw. Knicks. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Cardinals are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, 
Pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. The drive will start with Connor. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Now that's a big-time run. Lightning in a bottle? Forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. Murray going to throw. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Here is third down and four. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. To throw is Murray. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second and seven. Now Murray. Caught by Jones. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 36. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing now is Murray. Got his man. It's Dorch. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. Second and a couple. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Harrison. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's McBride. That'll go for a gain of seven. 
And it's second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Prater's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So, barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. He'll air this one out from Mims. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half for the rookie first-round pick, Bo Nix. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter. And, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down. But in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. On 
and first and ten is Connor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Third and four. Looking to throw. Murray. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Back to throw now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Connor. Evades the tackler, and now some space. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A big play there on the catch and run. 36 yards. He just had the feeling that sooner or later, someone was going to come up with that one play. Neither team has really done a whole lot offensively, but here's one that pays off to the tune of big yardage, and it's one that could maybe get this group in gear. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Back to throw. Murray caught on the slant. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's a foot race. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though, that shot at six ended in an interception, and we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And now they are in prime position, first and goal after the interception and return. They'll look to make it pay off for six points. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here to throw. Here's Nix. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Working out of the gun is Knicks. Touchdown! Greg Dulcich. Touchdown. And the Broncos are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, down in this part of the field, CD, they'd love to get him the football. And right there, a little pitch and catch for the score. Yeah, and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone. And they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches. Talk about trust, talk about confidence, and he produces. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And 
and it's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Cardinal offense takes back over. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. They run behind center with Connor. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 70 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is. It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. Give them a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw. Murray. Throw left side complete. That's Harrison. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 21. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Connor up the middle. Oh, what a move. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game. Because trust me, guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella. It wears on him, and then he gets stronger as the game goes on. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. On second and goal, Murray to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Back to throw. Murray. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. 
Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. And he's not going to get there. So they come up empty on the two-point conversion, and they are unable to tie up this football game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Buda Baker, the safety, he gets in from the secondary for the sack. I don't think that was a blitz, was it? No, not at all. I mean, there was no blitz called on the play. Had other responsibilities, but he saw an opportunity, saw a path, and he took it. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Now it's Nix. He'll air this one out for Mims. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Marvin Mims, 73 yards. And the Broncos are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. We have played three quarters. 
But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Operating from the gun, Murray flushed out right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. get him down here at about the 42 93 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long well partner I know this type of running back I mean this size this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on and I just tell you from experience the first few quarters oh you're eager you come running up there I'm gonna tackle this guy by the fourth quarter you're coming up and thinking about it and D-line wearing down fourth quarter yeah that's not a guy they want to see consistently and this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 25-yard line. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. What a drive. This has been just chewing up the yardage, and here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Looking to throw. Murray. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. Baron Browning coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down. It's a loss of five. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. He's got Harrison left side complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Here's Murray. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So here comes the veteran Matt Prater in a big spot in this ball game. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Prater's kick is good, and that'll move them back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Uh -oh. 
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Broncos offense and Bo Nix getting set for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Good push from the offensive line, and they've done well so far to build this lead. Now they've got to get things to the finish line, and that's a solid pickup there to begin the drive. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. To throw is Nix. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Broncos on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Patrick. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Nicks to the air. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. This has been a tremendous drive to this point, and this is all you want, playing with a lead in the fourth quarter. If you can keep the ball on the ground, keep the sticks moving, you're going to be in good shape to finish this one off. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They run it again with Williams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second 
That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Here's second and ten. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Here's Nix. It's complete to Williams. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from Denver.